all the rivers and talk about what we can do with 23. All right, so that's that's the goal of this panel. So uh, just before we start, uh, we do a quick exercise. Uh, by show of hands, if you know like a solid about Web3, can I see your hands? Like you know something solid about Web3, oh, good, good, great. Uh, you know something small about Web3, just a little. Also, also. Okay, you know nothing at all about Web3. I mean, just like Web3 somewhere. And, oh, great. So we have all three classes. Yeah, no, that's good. That's good. So uh, I'll be doing this alone. All right. I will have uh, my speakers with me. I will be doing this together. Uh, first on my list, there are Oloe. Oloe is the co founder of Crypto Round of Africa. It's a crypto media company focused on Latin Africa and the Web3 economy. All right. Uh, Step one, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, I have next uh, Ebenezer Okua Kachuku. Ebenezer is an artist and Web3 advisor for Right Wave. Right Wave is a music platform that leverages decentralized nature. Uh, I saw him here briefly. Uh, Ebenezer. I'm blocking there. Next, I have Oluchi and Ebeni. Oluchi is the founder of Web3 Ladies, a uh, non profit organization that helps ladies in Africa who write about blockchain skills. Thank you, Oluchi, for joining us today. Welcome. Similar to the magazine, you might imagine with this paper, or you can 
the last one about the um, point for the how much people as a person they have, you know, how much views they have on stuff. But these things are ten parts. They are, are points to be ten parts at times. So you really can't tell what you know somebody's reputation. Like how do we know that this person? How do we know that this product is this, right? First of all, of course, you have to use or you have to like put it back. Because if I don't interact with you before, or I don't use this product before, how do I really know? Really, because some products that you see online, you see some nice thing you and then you use it and you're like, what? What's going on here, right? So there is there's this higher reputation. I know because the plane was a bit right. How do we decentralize reputation to such a way that whatever information I sell like, online, it would seem right? You see people lying that they want to Google, Amazon, and there's really no way to prove that they really want to Google, Amazon. They say Google comes out and say, oh, this person is not with us, or an employee, or Google will say, oh, we've never seen this person, right? So there are a lot of things going on there. Like, you know, NFT can sleep, you can play a writer, you have Metaverse, you can know, have DeFi, which is decentralizing finance. And, um, one big thing, cryptocurrency or blockchain or Web3. For me, it's the fact that uh, when, you, when you have NERA, there is, you always have to convert, you, have, you need to convert NERA to like, do international trade, to do anything else, you want to convert to dollars, and euros, and stuff like that. Our currency is not really, I mean, if you go to different countries, you can use dollar, you can use, dollar is a safe conversion for you, right? When you convert to dollar, you can always get a euro. If you go out with NERA, it's, there's really, it's not so much the demand outside of the national market. Right. And one thing about cryptocurrency is that it doesn't have a limit to it, right? Anybody can have Bitcoin. There is no, oh, this is never this is this, this is this, that. So once you have this cryptocurrency, it's safe. Like, you're traveling this way, this is just going back to cryptocurrency, like any other currency that you need, and they get stuck. So I really think that in the use cases, there are some use cases that you need to be able to use for this cryptocurrency. Oh, 
So, what's the critical thing that this, um, as a consumer, you see to it that as a thing that uh, was uh, people may just say that uh, the station of the people should be prepared for this, and people want to know that they are going to be able to follow this thing. But the truth is, it is the people who are creating the content that makes the app. So, in a way, you are a product. You are not the, you are also the consumer, but you are also the product. You are the one who creates the content that makes people. Come on Twitter and pay Twitter to see uh, what's that or whatever. But Twitter is not giving you a number of money. Even though you're the product, it's like sending some people where you're not getting anything from it. And what is the point? When the way you get the thing from it, you're not getting cash from it. So why you can't even get to get cash and then get it from it? So in a way, that's what we're trying to do about. And it's really about um, you asking why should you own your own product? And, and that's like, um, it's, it's a very, say, uh, existential question in the sense that if I own my things, then I have more freedom to do whatever I want to do because they are mine. Like, I've been back from Twitter so many for the time. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I've been back like, um, from Twitter a couple of times now. And that means like, it is their platform, they can do whatever they want to do. Even though like, I create, I will create like, the content that I'm just going to become. So it's, it's like, do you want more freedom? Like, as a human being, as a human being, do you want more freedom to be able to do with your own and data what you want? So, that's what Web3 is about. There's this, uh, there's this Web3. Um, a project called BAT. BAT is like Google. So BAT is saying you come wherever that you look at, you pay a percentage of all we get from those ads, you pay that into your uh, account, and that is your money. So basically, that is what it is about. But now you actually owe it and your own contribution is actually rewarded to you. And that is the platform to know that you can actually perform the money at the same time. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you talked about freedom. Right? Like, why should you be able to make a video about Why should you be able to make a video about Why should you be able to make a video about Why should you be able to make a video about Why should you be able so you have like 15 people of this game for as well, and then you have a good TikTok, and then you have to like use all of this stuff again, try to make a good video as well. Right, so there's a typical example right now, okay, which is Let's Go. Let's Go to is a decentralized social media platform. It's not a social media platform, so it's, it's a protocol that allows you to port your data from place to place, right? So if you open it, it's a good Let's Go, right? You don't need to do any work That's it. That's a work of Right. So what you just need to do is that um, different platforms, right? Different social media or interactive applications can be put on and then you just put it on your own place and you just put it on your own place and you just put it on your own place and you don't need to stress. If you know what's going on, everything goes on your own place. It's just kind of accessible on your own platform. And that's the case. And there are a lot more people that are trying to adopt this kind of thing. This kind of thing, right? So you look at the house. You go to this hospital, you run x ray, you go to that, you go to the doctor, and then you practice it almost every day, right? So you don't know, you don't have a Sometimes you don't know what kind of person that you have is around that. So that's a very good person. I have like a very good issue that I have to do. Like if I go to the hospital, I'm going to go to the hospital, I'm going to go to the hospital, I'm going to go to the So it makes sense to just be able to build your data at first. Which is basically is a little more um, comfort, right? So you are from like the fact that you have freedom and then you're going to be true. And what it makes you be able to make data is beautiful to me. That's what we are trying to centralize on the world where sharing is like sharing is bringing back that human touch, right? Being able to like, it's not just 
So don't take a bit. Let's share it, right? Share it across all to this level. It makes sense. Right? I hope that's so, but that's the thing that we're doing with. And apart from the job product, it's even existing for the office. But let's come to the story. The topic is easy. You can make things more comfortable. Right? So sharing, I mean, the sharing is not really what you do all the time. Knowledge sharing is very easy. I'm going to go to you, alright? Um, so, because of Web3 is that, you know, like Akachi said, you know, he said that Web2 guys have realized the market, they don't think they do that, do that, and things like that. You know, he found out that one of the biggest uh, use cases of Web3 is crypto. Yeah. Now we have centralized exchanges, who have gold, right? I'm going to mention it, we have centralized exchanges, who have gold. And now, are almost like big guys in the web, so everything's ready. It's when they decentralized. Don't think that they're going to be using that. Sorry, I should tell you. Um, I just want to say that. Yes. All right, can you hear me now? Um, so I think that there are multiple situations to what the um, value will become. Right now, we are still working on the same centralized exchanges. Um, they are almost the same as Google and Facebook. For example, the future is one of them. But uh, the future of it really lies in Devon. You know, it really lies in um, this unique protocol of actually just mentioned the next protocol. But, as you own your information, as you own your identity, and put your data anywhere you want to be. You know, uh, we are still struggling with the centralized exchanges right now. You know, uh, there's going to be a long transitional phase before the world accepts World 3 and Small 3. Right? But it's the journey of the world right now. The same struggles uh, for things like Amazon and PayPal and you know, when they start really want something to work it's not going to happen, it will work. You know, in 1989, it was called a dot company. It was a huge deal. But 20 years down the line, this company is the biggest company in the world. And I see Web3 taking that central country. But right now, the government is saying, what is this? We don't understand this. We can't support this. But you see companies in countries like America, Dubai, which will be more frontier. So in the next few years, I see um, a tremendous Thank you very much. Okay, uh, I'll catch you. So, you asked if we were close to July, right? So, um, to the very short, very short um, story. Um, so, in Web3, the whole ecosystem, we all say, what we right? So, this is actually what we really, really will be interested in the whole thing at first. Because the way of the world is, um, if you want to get money, you want to get rich, you have to know the big guys. You have to know somebody who share that, give you the, the alpha, right? So we have three. The alpha is right there in the community. So you don't need, you don't need to know somebody in the office, in this chair. You don't have to stop nobody's balls. Right? But just, just communicate with the guys. I just put this space basically, and you get the alpha. So why do you work in the making? Now, that was actually how it started. It's kind of, it's kind of like evolved to the point where it's like, it's like post-nomics. So, if you if you put money, you take the profit and you dip on the guys who came late. But that's not actually where it's supposed to be. At its core, Web3 is decentralized because, like I said earlier, Web3 is just, it's just a very short way of saying smart contracts. Because the, the, the underlying technology of Web3 is smart contract. I can call it smart contract to do everything in this place. To turn the light, to move the camera, to do everything. So the fact that you can do that, this smart contract is not so hard to code, it's just something right? So that, 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 moves, that, that, moves, that is of usage, right? That's what makes Web3 so easy to adapt to. 
and the fact that as a user, all you have to do is just participate, show interest, wake up in the morning, turn your head and you participate. So whether you were in, whether you were in Jamaica, whether you were in Portugal, so okay, maybe I should just talk about the Ethereum blockchain, which is, which is pretty much the most popular um, base layer blockchain. Obviously, that was a smart contract. So last month, I think Ethereum just uh, we went from proof of work to proof of stake. I don't want to go into all of that. But what that means is you can be in, in, in your village in Nigeria and you have a node and you just have, if you have the two Ethereum, if you don't have the two Ethereum, there's, there's providers. So you can stake your Ethereum, and when you stake your Ethereum, you immediately start contributing to the Ethereum network. So that is also another means of, another form of decentralization. So you're staking, she's staking, I'm staking. What that means is that all the transactions on the Ethereum network, we're validating them, we're going to require them. So that way, there's no no one can come in and break it down. No one can come in and shut it down. So that's why that's why that's why you get everything is decentralized. Does that make sense? Wallet, you mean you control the wallet. Now, what's the fact? Who 
ownership, right? What about is that it comes with great responsibility. When you were growing up, you try, right? You didn't need to think about your family. When you sleep, you know, all of this stuff, because your parents were there to take care of you, right? But yeah, you're in control. And now you grew up, and you're an adult, and now you're in control of your life. And now you're thinking, what do I need to do if I don't want to make How do I survive, right? So all of this responsibility comes down on the children, and you have to decide what sense right to take now, like, right? So sense it means not cheap for some reason, right? It give you power, you control yourself, what you better do. There's this responsibility on you now to take care of it, right? To secure it, to make the right decisions, to know who they have, and you know, because nobody's making that decision for you, right? But before we get to that point, right, it's awareness, knowledge, a lot of information to know about how it works, so that you can make a better decision for the ones that you have in your hand or your data that is now in your hand. How do you see the right time? So all of these are important things. Right, so we're not there yet, technically. There's adoption in the world. It goes into like how you know, these techniques, right, you can concept into the about how cheap the high works, how you can make a wallet, how to solve this as well. That is the best way to get to solve the problems in the world. So when you see when you see like centralized or high grade uh, platform, they are trying to it's a, it's a step towards it's like having a vision. A vision to where you want to be. But you're not like you are living towards that vision, right? So that's where we are. Right? Um so when you see like it's just trying to like I mean for well, not some people don't care about those that you say why should you know that data? So that's where you do know, understanding comes from. Why should you
the DAO was a decentralized autonomous organization. It's like, it's like a company, it's like an office, right? But in this office, there's no boss, there's no, there's no president, there's no CEO, we're all the same. So if you have the ELS token, all you have to do is just come on the DAO and participate. So we want to we tweak something with the product, we put it out to the community. Guys, we want to do this. Do we do it? We don't do it. So I have two tokens, she has two tokens, she has five tokens. We vote on the proposal. So at the end of the day, obviously the winner, the majority, gets the lead. So that is another example about how the deal is decentralized. Your question about um, when to uh, the economy, the deal. So I said it before that the deal is kind of like evolved to uh, a post economics kind of setting where it's like it's only those who come in early that get to get the benefits of it. That's not what I was voted for, that's not what it's supposed to be. But that is what it looks right now because over time the world has been built on that foundation of the company of us early, we find the guys who know what's going on, we talk to them, we get recruit their friends, they show them the alpha. With more past adoption. So I was I think I was looking at the data but because um, so that I don't even think there's up to 10 million wallets that have NFTs. Now, you can imagine when there's like a billion people who are using web products, social media, finance, in, in work, in the work life, in the health system, in the legal system. Then the whole post-nomics uh, uh, set is going to, what's going to, we mentioned a little bit earlier on. So last year there was, a, there, was this, there was this project, Steppen. So it was called Steppen. What is it? Walk to Earth. So basically, you buy the LLC and then you walk 10 steps. You, make, you get paid for walking basically. So people just walk up with money and they just walk around the house and then, and then it's generating your tokens. And now it's crashed. In fact, it didn't even crash because of the deal. It even crashed before the deal. So I walked into the money.
But at the end of the day, they didn't really did not make money from trading. They made money from NFTs. And maybe people who have not seen NFTs now, and maybe you won't make money from NFTs. But it'll be something else. Because I think about the whole issue about decentralization, right? This uh, project come off like but it was free. When they when they did it, like crypto pumps was free. Everyone could do it. Just see it is the way of the world. If you're early somewhere, chances are you will find like the best. Like that's um, that adage about like the patient dog and all that stuff. That's not what we but change is not for the patient dogs, that's why it's like go for your opportunities, you cannot wait for the crumbs. So if you actually go there first, you, there's a chance that there's, uh, it, it is just it is just the way things are set up. So people will benefit, everyone cannot win. But for you to be a winner, you have to actually participate. You have to actually be interested, you have to actually do what it takes. And it's very time consuming, but it's very rewarding too. So in a way, just but like that, do not complain that people are not being ready. The next bodies will not look like bodies. It will be yeah. so people who might try to like replicate that and say, oh, if we, oh, it might not look like bodies, and you might be one of the people that gets like benefit from that just by you being here. So you're part of the nodes that are like being built for the picture of our future of country. So just don't quit. Just do not quit. Like, do not quit. That is basically uh, what I'm Alright, so uh, one last question that we take to just two questions from the audience because our uh, time is wrong. So, um, uh, you mentioned DMOs, right? DAOs, you mentioned NFTs, you mentioned crypto, and you mentioned we should position ourselves. So, we need any other things, right? So, we need to be the patient. <laughs> so, how, um, as a person in this place now, in this panel, and uh, listening to this panel, how uh, can I position myself, how uh, can I position my business to actually take what the web 3 has to offer me? What do I need to do with myself? Uh, there is no uh, Do you know that the Fortech economy is worth about $40 trillion right now? 
that is trading impact. Trading impact and trading with social outcomes. Now, I for one, I love to position myself and that's why I'm here. So we are both we are both alike. Now, for those working in social responsible investing companies, venture philanthropy, social enterprises, how can they annex this web three? I know that I'm not the only one here who is as well confused that my work doesn't have to do with coding, just like you said. My work is about how can we develop solutions, environmental or social solutions, for those at the base of the pyramid. The base of the pyramid markets now is worth billions of dollars, and a lot of companies are addressing the base of the pyramid markets. So how can I use Web3 as a tool or as an enabler for the work that I am doing with these African countries? So it's addressed to you, it's addressed to you, and it's addressed to her. Thank you. The panelists, my question is uh, based, just three questions. If you say, oh, just, okay, let me just do this one. Content creation, you own your assets. Now, does it suggest that uh, we have, we, you, you, you can't be regulated with, uh, there's no regulation for the content put in this place? That's one, that's one. And secondly, when, when we know that um, your password and everything is in one stop, one stop shop, right? That actually may expose you to cyber attacks. So what are the measures put in place for cyber security in that space, right? And two, in the ecosystem, just what, what uh, you said about those who are uh, doing deposits, team and all. What are the measures for ensuring these these uh, activities stop? Thank you. This probably could you explain that better? What do you do in this pyramid? Yeah, yeah, um, definitely. That was one of the things. Uh, that is one of the things I would work with the world of Africa because maybe we do not like dance or online presence right now because most of my work are outside my life. So we go to see uh, the part someone that uh, can go a lot of uh, same people that are telling me that we need to learn about these things. And then they will invest, right? And then we get like Thank you. 
the second slide, uh, on social impact, a very important part of social impact is government. When you want to, for example, um, stop the destruction of a monument in a city, and you need people to create a place of importance, you please don't cast this in the years in the 1990s, it's a, it's a, it's a natural, national treasure. Right? When you use regular platforms, you can mess with it, they can tweak it, they can you know, make the public not count. Kind of like our elections today, but it's a good point to let me count on it. But on the blockchain, every vote can count, and it will be there, it will be incorrigible, and integrity will be 100. So there are a thousand and one ways to you know, use blockchain on social impact. It's going to take time.
format of music, but it's still digital because the music is on Apple Music, on Spotify, it's everything for that. So it has to happen to NFTs. So when it gets to that point where it becomes that um, it's what you can use on the day without knowing that you're using the thing, then it becomes value based. At the time, the most economic model is going to be taken to the back. So right now, we're going to like this so much more. Obviously, people are going to fall uh, victims of this because people want to get rich quick. And that is actually the problem with running the NFT state in the system right now. Because if everyone wants to just come in and get money, but it's not just about the money, it's about the technology, it's about, it's about the use case, it's about what people can do with it in the day to day activities that like make their lives easier. So when it gets to that problem, it becomes a value based technology. It's not mixed up. Thank you.